Hey, Zach Henderson here, and today we're taking a look at the Zercher Squat. A bit of an odd squat variation, but one that can be a valuable addition to your strength training routine. The Zercher Squat is a barbell front squat where the bar is held in the crooks of the elbows. Essentially, you can think of this as the barbell equivalent to the kettlebell goblet squat and offers many of the same benefits. For starters, the Zercher squat has practically no special mobility requirements for the upper body. Barbell back squats can be tough on the shoulders and front squats are notoriously hard on the wrists. The Zercher position puts a high demand on your core and upper back strength while simultaneously reducing much of the low back stress that you often risk with heavy squats and deadlifts. Of course, you'll target your quads and glutes like any squat exercise, but the low center of gravity also makes the Zercher an effective way to train the hinge pattern and makes for a valuable deadlift accessory movement. But the most important thing of all, this is the one leg exercise that actually makes your biceps look huge while you're doing it. Set up a barbell around belly height. Supinate the forearms, open the elbow pits forward, and dip down to make firm contact against the bar. Make sure you have a balanced bite on the bar so it stays even. You have a few options for your arm orientation. You can make a fist with one hand and cup it around with the other. You can make fists with both hands and have the pinkies touching or nearly touching, or you could have the arms parallel. In any case, tighten up the lats, pecs, core, and biceps to keep the bar securely against your body. Wear long sleeves, a sweatshirt, or don elbow or knee sleeves if you need some extra protection. Like any other barbell squat, get tight under the weight first before squatting the bar up and out of the rack. Set your feet out just outside shoulder width, toes pointed out about 30 degrees. You'll want just enough room for your elbows to pass inside the knees. Keep your chest up and squat down until the bar makes light contact with the tops of the knees. Pause momentarily with tight abs before standing up, leading with the chest and keeping a midfoot balance. The Zercher squat may also be performed with more of a hip hinge to strengthen the deadlift pattern. In this case, instead of squatting straight down, simply push the hips back like a kettlebell swing and keep the shins nearly vertical. If you don't have a rack or just want to perform the Zercher the old fashioned way, you can sumo deadlift the barbell, bend the hips and knees so the bar rests on top of the thighs, and hook your elbows around as usual. Reverse these steps to return the bar back to the floor. The Zercher position can be used with a variety of exercises, from lunges and carries to rack deadlifts and even deadlifts off the floor. It's a great way to develop that strongman strength that you often see in Atlas Stone and sandbag lifting. And it's for that simple, real world practical strength that I recommend the Zercher Squat to just about everyone. For power lifters, the Zercher Squat makes for a fantastic accessory move for both the back squat and deadlift. Because the weight is held in front and near the midpoint of the body, you can stay tall and grind through tough reps without excessive low back fatigue. I recommend starting with sets of five with about 50% of your back squat max weight. As your elbows acclimate, you can end up pushing some pretty impressive poundages. For newer lifters, the Zercher squat makes for an effective teaching tool, both for squat technique and tension control. I suggest performing your reps with slow negatives and pauses at the bottom. Well, that does it for today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And remember, if you wanna learn some of this stuff in person, you can find out more about our live training workshops and seminars in the description below. Wishing you all the best in your training, and we'll see you in the next video.